welcome back to another vlogmas today is vlogmas day 22 uh yeah not a great deal going on today to be honest um i, I just really want a chilled day if i can um i've still got a very bad migraine it's calmed down compared to what it has been but it is still quite hurting so i could i don't know like just like attention headaches all here oh it just feels like I've got an elastic band around my head. Um, but yeah, it has calmed down. Uh, but my head's just a bit sensitive, so I don't want to push it. I want to just chill if I can today. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to do some housework, uh, feed the fluffers. Saying that, um, I might have to pop to Tesco's to get Angel some chicken because she's just not eating. If you know Angel, you know she's a picky little bean um and she eats when she wants to eat and she eats what she wants she's very very picky she's been like it since i've had her from a pup um she's now eight she's still just as bad um she'll like something one day and then not the next what's going on with her looks really fluffy <laughs> anyway um yeah she'll eat something one day and then just not the next she's just a complete pain in the bum um yeah, so I think I'm gonna have to try and get her some chicken. I need to sit. I'm sorry, guys. I need to sit. I need to sit. I need to sit a moment. Oh, speak of the groomer. Are you hungies? Are you hungies? Oh, yeah. Mm. You hungies? Mum wants to get you some chicken. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do that. Pop to Tesco's and get her some chicken. Uh, what is going on with it? Yeah. What? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I love you too. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna get a little lady some. Look at her. All about the belly rubs. She is all about belly and chest rubs. She loves it. She always makes my mum and my uh, dad do it for her all the time. Oh, post. It's only the post. It's post. It's post. It's only letters. It's all right. <laughs> She'll go on. Look at her. It's only letters. It's all right. Still just letters. <laughs> uh, yeah. Also, speaking of little lady over here, I've got to take her to the vets on Wednesday on the 23rd. Um, hold on. Oh, on the 23rd because there's like a little lump on her, um, just where her rib cage is. Gary felt it a few, well, a few weeks, a few a month or so, whenever he was last down here, quite a while ago, a good few weeks back now. He felt it when he was down. And uh, he said, feel this, or do you? I was like, that's just her nipple. But my mum felt it the other day as well. And she said, what's this? I said, it's a nipple, isn't it? She said, it doesn't feel like one. And then I had a look, and it, you can't see the lump. It's its like a size of a dog's nipple, for for her size anyway. Um, but it's not where a nipple would quite be. And you can see her nipples, but this lump, you can't see anything. You can just feel it. Um, so it might be nothing, it might just be um, like some gristle or something, I don't know, it might just like a cyst, I don't know, um, but I don't want to take any chances, so I did phone up the vets, and because they don't see it as something like major, important, not important, but um, life risking at the moment, they don't feel like it's that, to that extent, um, they booked in for Wednesday. Um, because they are really fully booked at the moment, so I don't know what's going on there. But they're um, they're all booked up. Uh, all the vets are busy and stuff. I don't know if it's just because of that time of year or what, or because of the circumstances. I don't know. But I'm just glad that she's got an appointment, um, so she hasn't got to wait too long. <clears throat> so yeah, that's on Wednesday. So I've been worrying about that the past few days as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's nothing too serious and. I can get it sorted or just be told it'll go away um 
yeah so I have been worrying about that quite a bit uh yeah so I'm just gonna take her on Wednesday and fingers crossed everything is okay because I don't want to be told there's something wrong with her because she is my everything she if you know me you know she is my baby she is my pride and joy <laughs> see all about the chest rubs and I, I don't like to think of her being on in discomfort or in pain but it doesn't hurt her but you can touch it it's just like here by, by her ribs um but you can touch it and whatnot and she's not bothered at all she's just not bothered by it it doesn't hurt her it doesn't she, she wouldn't even know i don't think if, like if i'm like touching it just to keep an eye on it just to make sure it's not getting any bigger but it doesn't hurt her or anything she's not giving me any signs that it hurts her anyway so i'd just rather get her checked i'd rather pay money and be told there's nothing wrong with her than not pay anything out and take her to the vets and something happened to her because i just didn't take her so i'd rather be told that she's fine than just keep guessing everything because i don't like the thought of anything happening to her because she's already been through a lot i mean she had an operation um not so long ago i think it was june time around june july um she had, like, she had to have her womb taken out she had to have an emergency operation she could have died because of her age being under anaesthetic and because of how small she is it was really like life threatening to her um, she had a tu uh, they found a, a tumour as well so they removed that so that's why I'm getting scared a little bit just in case that's a sign of something I don't know I'm probably just overthinking everything but I can't help it when it comes to her because she is literally my everything and i don't like it so yeah that's what's got to happen on wednesday so i'm gonna go to tesco's today to get some chicken to get some food in her little belly because she's been very picky again um and she usually likes her chicken but she likes it boiled so it's all nice and soft for her and uh shredded because she's got not many teeth left <laughs> she's, she hasn't got that many teeth left now bless her so she locks it shredded so she hasn't got to kind of chew through it i don't know i had to demonstrate that for you then but yeah so yeah i've been on here now waffling for nearly eight minutes so i'm gonna go and do my housework as i'm meant to as i said and then uh yeah have some breakfast and pop to tesco for some chicken i suppose so yeah that's my day hopefully i can i might just go and get a chicken in a minute after i've done the housework before i have some breakfast just to get it out of the way because i don't want to go i really don't want to go out i don't like going out on my own unless like you know i'm with my mum or somebody i really don't like it so I, I tried to put it off that's aurora i tried to just put it off and uh i make it worse because i'm sat here thinking about it then i really don't like it so i, I do try to put it off but I oh, know I need to because it's for her. If it was something for me, I'd be like, nah, I'll wait. <laughs> but because I know it's for her, I need to get my butt moving and make myself go out. So I'll probably do my housework, then go out, and then make myself some breakfast, I think. I think that's a sensible idea. Just get it over with before I can't brave it. <laughs> I already don't want to, but oh, you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm going to go and sort all that jibber jabber out, and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So I just thought I would share that when the um, post just went, when Angel just had her little fit, um, it was a lovely Christmas card of the lovely Stephanie, who is also on YouTube. So if you don't follow her, guys, I recommend giving her a little look. I'm sure you probably all do. Um, but yeah, thank you, Stephanie. It is lovely. It's got me, Gary, Angel and Aurora in there. Um, so thank you to you and your husband for my lovely Christmas card. Whew. So I'm finally back. I'm a bit windswept and a bit wet as it's that, you know, that really wet rain. <laughs> if you know what I'm on about, you know what I'm on about. It's just like that misty, nasty wet rain. Um, I've just got in here, as you can tell. You know, I'd miss me. Was I gone for ages? Was I gone for ever's? So yeah, um, I had to go into actual town. <sighs> I had to go into town um, because the queue at Tesco's was ridiculous they haven't been doing this at all since um the very first lockdown we went in um but this queue was blooming huge we are in tier two i don't understand why there's a there's there's a big massive queue now but there wasn't um beforehand when it, uh changed 
from tier three to tier two and the whole time from the second lockdown it's just been normal normal but there's been no massive queue it's just been like one way in one way out but now there's just this massive queue and it's from inside tesco's out of tesco's down the way you pay at the meter for your car park and then it goes all the way down to the back of the car park and this tesco's car park is a massive guys oh i'm really wet <laughs> it's in my eyes as well um but yeah i'd i'd I did not want to stand out there on my own that long. So I was like, right, I'm going to have to brave going into town by myself. So I ran in and ran out. I just went to the pound shop to see if they had some like cooked chicken for her. And they had some in there for two pound. So um, I just got her these cooked chicken portions. There's enough in there to do her quite a few meals. Obviously I'll take it all off the bone and chop it all up for her. You got this for your din Yeah, you want some of these for dinner? <laughs> I'm taking as a yes. Um, and while I was in there, I spotted these, which were a pound. So I thought for top ups in between, obviously, with my hair being red now, um, it takes a lot of maintenance. As I say, I've done all my research um, on the shampoos, the conditioners, um, to top up in between how you top up with the like semi permanent hair dye and. Um, and conditioner and things like that um so yeah i've done all of that research which is fine but then i spotted these which were a pound each so i got a couple um literally just two so um in case one isn't enough um my hair won't go this bright well i'm hoping it doesn't it's, it's not far off anyway it's pretty much the same one that i used i don't know if you can see very well um but i thought when my roots come in and i need to touch it up this will just be perfect because one it's only a pound and two it's it's never as big as the other bottles but for a pound i thought why not so let's just grab two of those and her chicken oh and a drink if i can find it bear with guys bear with <laughs> a load of random stuff <laughs> um yeah i just got one of these um iron brew extra the no added sugar ones basically i've got two of those um some chicken the hair dye and then just some other bits and pieces that just yeah for over christmas time munchies and things i can't bother to go through all that you don't need to you don't need to see that you've seen it before it's just the same as the other bits and pieces that i've showed you before um so yeah i'm gonna go and um do a little lady some chicken now because i'm sure she's hungry and she keeps itching her where that little lump is um, so I think that's what's been irritating her the past God knows how many months and the vets couldn't tell me what was wrong with her. So I think that's what's itching her because where she's itching, I've noticed it's the same side as where that little lump is and that's where she's trying to get at. So I'll have to let them know that on uh, Wednesday as well. So yeah. Apart All right. <laughs> she's telling me off. Um, apart from doing angels and chicken, not a lot really going on today. That's the excitement of my day, popping out to get her some food. Because I know she's hungry and I'm sure she'll eat the chicken. So, yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, make a cup of tea and just unwind and chill my beans and just watch a Christmas movie or something.
So, um, it is the evening now, guys. Not much happening. Um, Angel ate all of her chicken, thankfully. So, I feel better now. She literally had a bowl full of chicken and she ate the lot. So, I feel better that she's uh, eating something. But, um, I don't feel so great that her bottom now smells because she keeps trumping. It absolutely stinks. <laughs> But I suppose it's, it's the things we have to sacrifice to make sure they get a good meal in them. Um, so yeah, she's had some chicken, so I feel much better now. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing much apart from just chilling. And uh, I might pop another Christmas movie on and edit this video. Uh, yeah, I watched... Um, I don't know if you've seen it. It's on Disney+. Plus. It's called Noel. It is really good. Um, I don't. It's different. It's still very festive and Christmassy, um, but it is a different type of Christmas film to what you would expect it to be. It is really good. Um, I really liked it, so I do rate that movie. If you haven't seen it and you want to something new to watch, I recommend Noel. Um, I'm not sure if it's on anything else, but I watched it on Disney Plus. Um, but yeah, I think it came out in 2019, so I'm sure you'll be able to find it on something else if you haven't got Disney Plus. Um, and yeah, so that's that's me for today. Um, Mum's supposed to be phoning me a bit later on uh, to find out what time she's coming tomorrow because fingers crossed the cemetery is open and we can go and see my nan and granddad. And spruce them up a little bit and take them their flowers and whatnot so hopefully um yeah it'll be open so i need to find out what time she's coming so she better blooming come <laughs> otherwise i'm gonna be right off and up off with her um but yeah she should be because she's got to pick up her glasses from town tomorrow as well anyway because hers broke so she's wearing a spare ones and she can't see through them properly so she needs her actual glasses um, but they've had to fix the, the arm and put a new one on and she's had to have a new set of frames and then her glasses, lenses changed into them. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the plan for tomorrow anyway. Hopefully, if it goes ahead, I will let you know, but I will tell you tomorrow anyway what's happening. So, yeah, that's me. Sorry, it's been a boring one. Nothing really exciting has happened or anything exciting to share. Um yeah so i will see you all tomorrow for another vlogmas thanks for watching and i love you all bunches <laughs>